hello to the uh, session, veteran commute advisor, uh, <laughs> veteran commute advisor session, where today I have um, one person who joined to me to learn about uh, uh, how to be a veteran com commute advisor and, and what it is about. And one first quick thing uh, I would want to share is what is Catalyst School. So as today we have this how to be a veteran community advisor session, uh, but we also do one-to-one -one workshops, uh, other live sessions like introducing to Catalyst in general and talk about uh, how to be a community advisor and also talk about how to propose in the Catalyst ecosystem. And yep, since today we go with the last uh, section, veteran community advisor, and stuff so we're gonna continue and there are some links you can follow us uh, i would suggest the, the best link to follow is the link tree and because this always has the updated version of where to connect with us and what are the next sessions so what is a veteran community advisor um, mainly what you do is you assess uh, proposal assessments one done by the community advisors so you will look at the uh, assessment uh, with how he did uh, impact, how, how he explained the feasibility of the proposal and how did the assessor understand the um, auditability of that proposal. And he gives his own assessment, maybe he helps the proposer, gives some insight to them, some guides or, or just uh, describes how useful that kind of proposal is to the voters and as you read them you will have to then make sure that uh, uh, like basically rate them is this excellent good or filtered out so uh, for we will go into details uh, what we expect from excellent assessment and what do we expect from uh, good and what kind of assessments we would like to filter out because they do not help um, our community to grow or the proposal itself. Uh, one important thing to notice is that uh, you cannot be a veteran community advisor if you haven't had, uh, if you haven't received the uh, community advisor rewards uh, in uh, previous two funds. Or you, or if you haven't been there, but you have been like a community advisor or better community advisor for three funds, then you're now like an accepted member to always able to uh, filter and assess the assessments. A any any questions about like what does? No, no. I understand. Thank you. Okay. Um, some facts uh, we, we brought out, what cool to know is um, VCAs are not anonymous. So when you say like, okay, this assessment is excellent, and this is filtered out, everybody will see you. Oh, it's you, Teva. What you, you, this was a great assessment. Why did you filter it out? Or vice versa. So um, you're not an anonymous in the sense, and everybody will see how you rate other assessments. Um, another thing is VCA's classification cannot be seen by other VCA's during the process. So the goal here is that well, when you do, like you go through these assessments and you put excellence or filter out to some, and that you do not share this kind of information to other VCA's. So the goal is that everybody sees it from their own perspective. And once the session, um, the, the stage is over, uh, in the project artists life cycle then all of that information is aggregated and we can have like a collective um, un hopefully unbiased like understanding of which of these assessments were good which were the excellent and which uh, we wanted to remove um, you can choose which assessments you'd like to review with a few exceptions and uh, so if you are you cannot be a VCA in a challenge, you have proposal submitted. So since uh, this is a decentralized environment where you can pretty much self-assign yourself roles, 
uh, which means you can propose, you can be a community advisor, and you can be a better community advisor, and, and many more roles uh, related in uh, the Catalyst ecosystem. But there are now to to like mitigate the fact that people don't assess their own proposals or, or rate their own proposals, there are like few exceptions made. So, and for a VCA, it's, it's that if you propose uh, a proposal under a challenge, uh, then you cannot uh, assess any, like uh, any other proposals under that challenge. And another thing is if um, you cannot review proposals that uh, you have assessed. So if you're also a community advisor, uh, and you liked some kind of idea of oh this this game they are building on um, on the Cardano platform I like that uh, I give them a good impact score and I know this team so you you kind of support um, a proposal and and you have more information to share and you do the assessment to them uh, to the other voters uh, and the team itself perhaps then you cannot go as a VCA and now look at other assessments done to this proposal and assess these ones or, or quality check. Uh, so the goal is to, to have no relations to, to any of the previous activities you had. Uh, so any, any questions about that? Like, no, not at all. That was very that? clear. Okay. <laughs> Main thing, like what they understand about the incentives for now, it is 1% of the fund. So when we have a 16 million fund, the 1% means that $160,000 is shared the, to the, all the veteran community advisors who help to then do the quality check that I mentioned before. Um, it used to be uh, very simple, as many you do, the more. Um, the more rewards you get. But now science, uh, we want to like move towards meritocracy. We, we are adding reputation and, and kind of based it on uh, complex uh, logarithmic um, functions in order to, uh, like if you want more details how it works, uh, I added the link here and at later I also shared the uh, document uh, which, which will lead to this uh, understanding of how this rewarding works. Um, but the main gist here is that the more you, more reward, uh, reviews you do, and the more funds you like, you, you participate and, and do reviews there, it's kind of starts compounding. So mm -hmm. if you hear the first time as a VCA and, and do 100 uh, assessments, let's say, you get specific amount of rewards. And let's assume the funding amount does not decrease and the next fund you come back and do an again, same amount of reviews, you will actually get a little more rewards because you're already like an accepted uh, uh, veteran comment advisor who has over time came back to, to contribute and, and, and help the, to, to check the quality, yeah. Uh, and, and to get rewarded, you, you have several like key, key actions, activities you do. First, you read about the challenge. So you, you, um, you, you start by the compiling, the, the idea where the people put proposals in. Then you read about the proposal, which was put under uh, a challenge. Um, and it's, it's important to know about challenge because you have to check if it's aligned. Is, is this, the proposal may be very good, but if it's not related to challenge, it's, um, it, it, it doesn't work. It should be, uh, it, it shouldn't be in that challenge. It should be somewhere else because that wasn't the call to be addressing. It, it, let's say there is a like um, a medical challenge that we want medical devices and and we want to improve the quality of that improve them and now somebody proposes a perfect plan how to uh, pull the school of uh, 
um, I don't know, boilers. Um, it's somewhat related to, okay, you can build school, uh, like these medical centers too, but the challenge wasn't about that. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, and, and then when you know about the proposal and the challenge, then you read about the assessments. And, and sometimes it, it, it depends on, the, on your, like, uh, on your style, how you want to be an, a VCA. Um, and, and you can start by like reading assessments first because the assessor should point out that, hey, this proposal does not align with the challenge or it does align uh, with challenge and give like reasons why he thinks that. Because what you're looking from the assessments is a rationale uh, also. And yeah, once you're like clear that Okay, this assessor gave a justice to this proposal, um, and then you classify it. Is it excellent, good, or filtered out? And if you're filtering out, I will uh, provide a rationale. You have the option to like say why you filtered it out, and this helps uh, as a community to to improve that entire like uh, life cycle uh, itself. Like okay what could we do in order to make it more clear that these kinds of assessments are not done in future or how could we automate that uh, these kinds of complications a way which VCA shouldn't do and yeah so any questions regarding rewards uh no 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 you have it's very self-explanatory uh see we say review criteria so i did go through a few examples while i was talking and there are another like five main ones see a con uh, contemplation of their own ability to assess the proposal so they explain why they are a good assessor to to read it like give that assessment see a scoring against the challenge criteria so you they basically give the understanding how how well it fits to the challenge the proposal see your opinion on the proposal all around so is like how, how what feeling he has uh, and how well how impactful it is and uh, he's like in own words how, how accountability to the cardano community so is this still about uh, Cardano network and, and because somewhat we want to keep the mission that we leverage the technology um, what we have in here or the community we have in here to, could learn or get insight and inspiration to to build on the Cardano network and maybe bring up some insight of positive feedback loops oh if this proposal is successful, then this can start happening. And excel that right. um, classification mechanisms. So when we talk about you can exit, you can have like excellent speed routes and uh, goods, then here are some uh, algorithmic ways to where we collectively decide okay when the assessment will be filtered out and when it's not. Um, and the main idea here is here are some examples. So if a proposed assessment gets two excellent and one good, then because there was more excellence than good, then we will consider the assessment excellent. If it's same uh, or uh, good, there is more good, then it's going to be like good, which is like an average of, uh, it, it wasn't bad assessment, but it wasn't like, we didn't get like maximum out of that. <laughs> like, that there was would have been more room to make, improve it. And if there is a filtered out in 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 uh, like equal chance, then it's going to be filtered out. And uh, and yeah, if and if filtered out kind of counteracts the excellent. So if there is excellent filtered out and good, then it, it ends up with good. Uh, so it, it's mostly like majority, uh, like voting in a sense. 
And here are some, now we come down to describing what is an excellent and good, because this is the main distinctions you want to make. Uh, filters out there are kind of easier to spot. So if it's have nothing to do with helping the proposer, the proposal or a voter, then it, it, it's easily filtered out, but it's hard to like sometimes make a difference. Is it good or is it excellent? So this is where you come in and you just give your best uh, judgment on that. And this is, this is how we do in the community. As a collective, we, we probably make a pretty good decision. So main focus points are like CA scoring against the challenge criteria. Um, so this is the one I mentioned also before, how well it declines and, and how do you kind of measure like if the CA has provided a defensible justification to support the scoring. So he, he has to explain it. And advisor justification for scoring clearly highlights specific content in proposal that is being assessed. So um, take some kind of like snippets out of the proposal, uh, which kind of confirms his thinking or understanding how could the proposal be as uh, effective. Um, they share confidence uh, to the reader, like yep, yep, of and, and articulates well why is it why does it align with the challenge and yeah so and this would be an excellent but if it has like a less it, it does like say yes it is aligned with the challenge but it doesn't give a rationale then it uh, but he does give like mm, but why i am good to uh, assess this because i have like i don't know, skill set for this array of proposal and i know that I can, I can see the impact and explain the impact. So it could be good, but yes. So now there is comes to your like judgment. Like, okay, should he have added more clarification or some research or take some specific uh, art, uh, like paragraphs out of proposal to explain uh, what made it align with challenge. So yeah, there is, here is your judgment basically. Mm. So yeah, this, this would be then like uh, aligning the challenge and there are many more of these like uh, CA opinion about the proposal overall, the, the things that I mentioned before. And, and yeah, it, it's it's very easy maybe to, to make the difference between excellent and good. But what I would like to convey is that uh, in, in these assessments you are reviewing always uh, uh, like try to highlight the best one of them um, as an excellent and because it's a signal to the assessors and everybody else that this is the kind of feedback we want when we do proposals and when we want to vote on proposals and we want to make decisions on proposals so what are the excellent reviews which help us to, to make that judgment. So that's like the end call um, for me. And yeah, any, any questions about alignment or how to like differentiate excellent and good assessments? Uh, looking through it, I can see how, I think it was clearly stated how, how on the hierarchy. So, I don't, I think there's no question. I don't think I have any question. They are very, very clear and easy to understand. All right, good. Um, then I'm, I hop into just quickly brief um, into a slide where there is um, uh, like more resources to, to read about it, because this is a okay. bit of an informal uh, method I do the um, uh, VCA discussion and what it's about. But if you would like to read and you, um, and get into details there i listed several documents here one of them yeah. is like um, the veteran community advisor review guide itself and this mm -hmm. is a community version but um, as usually in in the catalyst community uh, when we create the great document iog will adopt it so 
uh, I will have great hope in there. And this is a very valuable document to read. And it's it's more compact. So right now it's uh, seven pages. Uh, it has like the, the overall word what you want to read. And there is like different steps who, uh, to explain what to, to they explain. Then there's a community advisor assessment guide. So this is the guide what community advisors read in order to do their assessment. So understanding of the, the guides, what they use to assess uh, is also important because then you know like the, the middle ground, what everybody is working on uh, and, and what kind of like insight they have been given in order for them to make a quality assessment. And from there, you can also take like tips. Okay, what should I look for? And, and you will also more easily perhaps notice when the assessor kind of points out a specific um, direction. Uh, because I assume here we're gonna be uh, read the assessment guide for quite a long time now. So guiding principles. So yeah, three proposals and proposals with respect. So you can even ask that question from your as assessor, like uh, yourself, did this assessment treat the proposals with respect? If they did, then it's good. Uh, this is like a good checklist to go through and before you start and then you do your uh, like judgment. And yeah, so that's a good document to go through and highly recommend. Then Fund 8 VCA rewards and reputation. So previously I mentioned that in Fund 8, we introduced a new method to reward VCAs. And, and also we reward now with reputation. So to, if you're technical minded or interested to see how it's put together, there's a document uh, about that. And there are some like logics and reasons. Uh, written down why why this kind of algorithm is used and finally i, I thought i point out um, in a cutler school we also created one pagers uh, these are all uh, craft versions but i think i thought it's still nice to share because it encapsulates a lot of information in a very compact format uh, and it gives guides to like new new sources uh, if, you, if people want to read more and finally when you do the veteran community advisor tools um, since you are given an excel file which you cannot work with there is a community created tool where you has a guide how to use it you click uh, a website link is just here you click on this this is my reward is nice and you can put your name there and then you can decide to upload that um, File yourself, or or you want to start a refresh, um, a like a fresh version, and, and this is this helps you to kind of uh, do the assessments uh, more easily if you're not accustomed to like downloading and, and or working with Google Sheets. Thank you. I'm going to go through this. I really appreciate it. Thank you for actually sharing with, uh, sharing this with us. Thank you so much. You yeah, you thank you. Thank you. Mm, so I, as I listed these uh, few tools and guides, which do more if you want to go more in detail. And another side is this um, uh, how to connect. So if you want to meet people like me or other community members, here I listed Discord and Telegram channels. So uh, two, there are two Telegram challenges um, we had here is the Project Catalyst Telegram group and Community Advisors Telegram group. Uh, one is like general and one is for Community Advisors. So where it's like a heavy discussions when the stage starts like um, and quick questions uh, people will always answer there. And for Discord, same thing, there are um, three servers I pointed out. One is directly meant for CAs and VCAs, 
it's a new Discord channel uh, called Catalyst C A and VC Hub. And then, of course, we have our own Discord in the Catalyst Cool, where we also answer any questions and provide these kinds of services and, and let people know in advance when we have these kinds of workshops or, or when we do new content. And of course, I added um, the main Cardano Project Catalyst Discord server too, where, which we are trying to make as a funnel where you, you will learn about Project Catalyst, but when you want to go in more detail, this is like a funnel Discord server. And yeah, so this is um, about slides. And I took a picture of a um, VCA aggregated file. So this is the picture of the file and uh, what we all as a community will see when you are done with your work. So, and, and it's, it's kind of a good example also to, to see because this is almost like your work, working sheet too. You will have an Excel where you have these kinds of uh, rows where you have an idea title, you have the link to an URL, URL link to the proposal, so which you can open, you will see which kind of challenge it is. You will can filter them uh, same assessor. So, so you can compare how the assessor itself is uh, like uh, assessing is, does he have like a copy based template or he's always unique? Does it have 100 assessments or he has only done like few? And it's, it's all good information to like take into consideration. And then their uh, assessment uh, from the, for the impact, visibility, auditability, and the scores. So in, in this case, we could read this proposal team is leveraging code this API in Yomla as payment option for e-commerce platforms. So somebody who didn't really go to impact, explaining the impact, um, but just explained what is in this proposal. Uh, as a feasibility, he explains the team had the quality, qualified PHP and Yomla experience building similar integrations and the quality demonstrates a strong understanding of quality APIs. If this information, what you're reading here, like PHP and Koti and the API is like misunderstanding and you don't know uh, what it's all about, um, then of course you couldn't use Google Shares to make sense of that stuff. But it's, um, I would suggest um, simply to skip that uh, assessment because you're not obligated to assess uh, every assessment and choose the ones you can have like a good judgment. Um, here, these are like technical terms. And, and here again, the rationale wasn't really given by the assessor, but he does uh, like say what the proposal kind of says. It's more like an observing assessor. And then, yeah, he has an auditability note. But now, as you see, he, this assessment assessor gave like maximum score basically to the proposal. Uh, and for my opinion, it wasn't really that well articulated assessment either. But for some, it, it is it is good enough. So as you can see, there was forty nine assessments made in Fund Seven for this assessment. And three people thought it's, it's, oh, it's amazing. It's the best uh, assessment ever. And 22 people thought it's, uh, it's good. It, it, it's, it's not amazing, but it's good enough. Uh, and many of them thought, uh, well, not many, but almost as, as much as good, thought it's, um, it, it's not good assessment at all and, and feels a bit off. So, because their uh, the excellence and uh, kind of the how do you say uh, by the rating like counter out the filtered out so it was 21 to filtered out and 22 to good so the end result this assessor did get rewarded for this assessment and and you may, may disagree, you may agree, but um, 
I think this is just a net retrospective for us to learn from and, and to educate each other what is a good, what is excellent, what should be filtered out. And over time, as these numbers increase, the, our knowledge and wisdom increases, uh, I think we are going in a very great direction. So yeah, I wanted to share this kind of like aggregated file and, and go through this like one example uh, to kind of show you what, what's the outcome? What, what is the outcome of your work? Mm. On the other side, there are, for example, here one, another assessment uh, uh, done by assessor to 1003, uh, who actually got 22, 22 excellence over 40, 40 good and few actually put filtered out. Um, but and yeah, we can see, I do agree that because of a challenge setting, the proposal outreach is not available. This proposal belongs in a challenge challenge setting and does provide value to the Cardano ecosystem. Uh, okay, so this assessor already explains that, hmm, I didn't find any other challenges this proposal could fit. So therefore, this is my rationale and agree with the challenge setting. So we already gives some guidance what i explained before what are assessors supposed to be what you are as a vca look from assessment and he clearly states his position and understanding how it aligns how this proposal aligns with challenge so i think this is one of maybe reasons why he did excellent but but you do have to go through all of the text which he mentions if he brings out some facts you might want to fact check it not might want to but you should fact check it in the proposal too and yeah then this is uh, this is how it's done and as you can see it seems like most of the assessors uh, veteran advisors agreed that this is a good excellent and we want to see these kinds of assessments more in the future so they gave an excellent uh, review any questions related to the outcome excel file i just showed and ah okay i see your text yep okay um I will then quickly show uh, one more thing I wanted to share and then finish up with this uh, uh, with this session. So I have created um, a, a model board related to innovation fund architecture and the thought I, I will show it in the VCA uh, session because this stage, this um, veteran community advisor stage, where we assess and do pretty much a quality control for the assessments done to the proposals. And we, we have like this kind of metrics called filtered out, good, and excellent. Um, I want to give an, another look or perspective to the VSA is the, the work you do here is. Is, is very important because you're going to set in motion the, the culture, how we want these hard work done before the VCA stage, the like a hundred thousand of hours put on to the proposal, writing, the thinking, the coordination, the sharing, and then also the work of proposal assessors who come and uh, give feedback, advise them, and, and improve uh, the proposal with the feedback, uh, and explain the the impact and the, and the idea. And now you are in the, in the edge of that where you make uh, where you filter out that kind of feedback and and. And, and make sure it, it gets to the positive feedback loop that next time when we run this uh, entire stage of making new proposals and giving feedback to them and assessing them, scoring them, that it, it will grow and get better every stage. And yeah, just wanted to 
you veteran community advisors to understand to like the product level of what we are doing here and, and, and the stage and the importance they have and, and if you are interested in, in like getting more into detail okay how veteran community advisor is related to proposals or referrals or challenge teams or any other roles we have in this um, ecosystem or in any other stage we have this in this ecosystem then um, i invite you to join in the motherboard learn about it maybe uh, follow the advance and improvements of these kinds of templates and that is it thanks for joining thanks for listening <laughs>